Hey guys, April here, coming at you with my official one week post-op update. So I guess I'll start out with my stats. I started my uh, pre-op diet at 3.06. The day of surgery I was 294.4 and as of this morning I am 286.2. .2. So I am 0.2 pounds away from a 20 pound loss in about two and a half weeks. So I'm pretty happy about that. Still doing all right. Still feeling okay. Um, I just got back actually from the college. I went to go pick up my books, which were so heavy. But I tried my very best to just sort of, you know, they came in a bag and I like slung them over my shoulder. I didn't use my core at all. And I just, I had to go get them because I have to work the next three days and school starts on Monday. And I am one of those people that <laughs> cannot come to class unprepared. So I had to go get them. Uh, yeah, so nothing great, obviously, nothing new has happened since yesterday, still chugging along, still doing all right, still feeling okay. I did make me a, a black bean soup last night that I found on a bariatriceating.com recipe, and that was a nice change from broth, so that was cool. This morning, I think I might have faux pas a little bit because I made me a protein shake um, with just a tiny bit of frozen pineapple in it and some unsweetened coconut milk and um, some protein powder. It didn't bother me at all so far and that was, you know, two hours ago, I think, when I started drinking it. And I, I mean, I drank it over probably an hour <laughs> takes me a while to drink stuff but that was 30 grams of protein so hopefully no issues there I honestly feel like I was not given enough material on what I can and cannot have after surgery I I, I mean I was given a list don't get me wrong I was totally given a list of things you know that I can have but it's just, it's very minuscule in the grand scheme of food. And especially when you are limited to liquids, I have really, Pinterest has been my go-to. I love Pinterest. So if you have never, if you are someone in this world who has never checked Pinterest out, I strongly urge you to do so. Especially if you are pre-op, even post-op, because there are so many, I mean, I have a massive folder full of uh, bariatric recipes a lot of great stuff that I'm really looking forward to being able to cook once I'm able to eat some stuff so yeah but all right this one's going to be short and sweet because I don't have any other information I don't plan on making another video until probably my two-week post-op because quite frankly I'm going to be super busy uh, going back to work, like I said, tomorrow and then school starting on Monday. I, I'm not really sure. I should be off work on Tuesday. So once I get out of class, which I believe is around 2.30 p.m., I'll try to make a video that afternoon or maybe that morning before. I, no, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably not going to have time to do that because I got to take the kid to daycare and then I got to go to school myself. So, yeah, probably that afternoon. I'll let you know what's going on with my two week. Uh, if I haven't mentioned before, you can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I'll put that information down below uh, in case you don't see it or don't want to look it up. My Snapchat is CelestialBeing8. I'm not going to spell that out for you. Look down below. Instagram is just CelestialBeing. And uh, I'm not really posting a lot of stuff right now because I'm still pre up. don't have a lot of great stuff to post. But if you're interested and you want to follow me, uh, that's an option for you. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you have a channel that I am not currently subscribed to, let me know in the comments so that I can follow your journey as well. So, all right, guys, that's going to be it for today. I will talk to you soon, and I hope everybody has a great week. See you later.